Dive, 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 dive. Bye, Sky. Descending into Aldabra's deep, where no human has been before. But in the first ever live programmes from the Twilight Zone, Sky presenters brought home the wonder. Oh, shark, shark! Oh, yeah. There were sharks, rays and groupers. And always the extraordinary backdrop of what could at times have been another planet. It is science, it is exploration, it is adventure, all combined and has never been done before on a live television programme. This is a world first. I broadcast from some pretty remote and amazing places in my time, but none quite so remote or amazing uh, as this. Aldabra's waters have been protected from human exploitation, and it shows, even in the deep, which scientists once assumed was barren, there was life. Aldabra is known as the Galapagos of the Indian Ocean, not just because of the richness of life in its waters, but also the unusual life on land. And here, there are 150,000 of these guys, giant tortoises. But plastic is the scourge of Aldabra. The tortoises have a taste for it. This ibis will probably die from it. Turtles do their best to nest in it. Volunteers from the Aldabra Cleanup Project hope to remove 50 tons of plastic from the atoll. Fishing gear, bottles and more than 50,000 flip-flops. We know for sure that this cannot stay here. So we still consider that it's been very worthwhile to get this stuff off here. But yes, we're hoping to use this to motivate the rest of the world to solve this problem in a much more sensible way. Back in the UK, school children put their questions to some of the world's ocean experts. How many years would it take to remove all the rubbish from the ocean? Oh, that is a good question. We can't remove all the rubbish that's been put into the ocean. I mean, that's just not possible. Um, some of it is still on the surface of the water, but the majority is fragmented and down at the bottom. From sharks in the shallows and inquisitive fish on the reef to the perpetual darkness below, we hope our journey was immersive. A rallying cry for the sea in a warming world. That was Deep Ocean Live. Thomas Moore, Sky News, Aldabra. And just to let you know that you can catch up with the very best of the three days of coverage from the deep in our highlights programme. That's at nine o'clock on Friday evening, right here on Sky News. And don't forget, you can also keep up to date with our Deep Ocean project on the Sky News website and also the mobile app.